The uh, topic of today's lesson is the slope point form of the equation of the line. Um, I'd just like to ask you to start by um, writing the equation of this line using the slope y-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. So we would start to uh, write the equation of this line using y is equal to mx plus b by first noting that b is the y-intercept and m is the slope. And going to our graph and identifying both of those features. So our y-intercept is here. And uh, we would go, okay, well, the y-intercept is equal to and some people would say that that point might be 5.5. Others might say that that point is, uh, sorry, this is the y-intercept, is 5.3. And another person might say that that y-intercept is at 5.25. Um, so it's not clearly defined what the y-intercept is, and these all should say y-intercept, not just y. Okay. Um, but anyways, the problem is that we cannot pinpoint what the y-intercept is. So this equation, uh, y equals mx plus b, which requires us to know exactly what the y-intercept is, isn't uh, going to do a very good job of writing the equation of that line. So we have another form of the equation of the line, and that's called the slope point form of the equation of the line, and you see it here. Um, and it's useful when we have a line that crosses the y-axis and it, the point where it crosses is not a, a whole number. All right, before we start into slope point form of the line, there's a, a skill that you need to have. And uh, it comes from the rules that we use for subtracting integers. So if you're asked to simplify 5 subtract negative 3, you would write down 5 plus because the rule that you would be using is to subtract integers, we add the opposite. Um, what if we wanted to rewrite 5 plus 3 as a subtraction statement? In other words, we have the line 5 plus 3, and we're wondering what would be the line above it. Well, the line above it would be 5 subtract negative 3. That's how we can write an addition statement as a subtraction of a negative number. Okay, um, in the next example we have x subtract negative 6. If we were to simplify that, we would write that as x plus 6. If we wanted to rewrite x plus 6 as a subtraction statement, so here's the line after the simplification, and the line before it would be x subtract negative 6. So we're just working backwards in this direction here. Um, if we have y subtract negative 9, it simplified, it would be y plus 9. And if we wanted to write the uh, subtraction statement that would be equivalent to y plus 9, we would write y subtract negative 9. Okay, going that way. Um, you might wonder why on earth we'd ever want to do this, but you'll see in a couple of pages through this lesson it comes in handy. All right, so uh, let's get on to taking some notes. Um, 6.5, slope point form of the equation of a linear function. When we know the slope of a line and we know the x, coord x and y coordinates of a point on that line, we can use the slope point equation to write the equation of the linear function. The equation of a linear function that passes through a known point x1, y1 with a slope m is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Okay, so let's just identify what some of these letters mean in this equation. The y, the y without the subscript 1, is just represents the dependent variable. Okay, and this x here without the subscript represents the independent variable. OK? 
Okay. Um, the other three letters have been identified previously, but let's let's put them in anyways. Okay. The M is the slope. And the x1, y1 okay, so these things here are the known point, are the coordinates of a known point. So Okay, um, so let's go look at example one where we can put some numbers into these things. Um, we're asked to write the equation of a linear function with a slope equal to two-thirds that passes through a point G with coordinates negative 1 and 3. So our solution, since we know the slope and a point on the line, we use the equation So we use the equation for the slope point form of the line. Um, the slope of the line, we're told, is 2 thirds. So m in our equation will be equal to 2 thirds. We're going to replace m with the, with the number 2 thirds. The line passes through the point negative 1 and 3. So x1 will be equal to negative 1, so we'll replace the x1 in our equation with negative 1, and our y, part y1, is equal to 3. So we're going to replace y1 with 3. Let's fix that mistake up. Okay. Um, so what we're going to need to do is Write our equation, replacing uh, y1 with 3, m with 2 thirds, and the x1 with the value negative 1. Okay, so then we're going to simplify this by just rewriting x minus negative 1 as x plus 1, right? Um, so that is the equation in slope point form of a line that passes through a point two thirds, uh, pardon me, passes through a point negative one and three with a slope of two thirds. Go on to another example. Okay, example two, graphing a linear function given its equation in slope point form. Describe the graph of a linear function with this equation. y plus 1 is equal to 3 halves x minus 2. That's the first part of the question. And the second part of the question is to graph the equation. So we're going to use, since we're given the, the equation in slope uh, point form, we're going to compare, we're going to write down y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. There we go, we've got my, my m's. And we're going to compare y plus 1 is equal to 3 halves x minus 2 with this equation. And the comparison that we really want to notice here is that in the equation, the general equation of the slope point form, there's a subtraction sign between the y and the y1. But in the equation we're given, we've got an addition sign. Okay, so that's that's the little problem we have to deal with. So how we're going to deal with that is we're going to rewrite y plus 1 as y subtract negative 1. Finish the rest of the equation. Why would we want to do that? Because this equation here matches the form of the general equation of slope point form. Okay, so now we can take our, our rewritten equation and from that we can find that our slope is 3 halves, our x1 is 2, 
and our y1 is negative 1. Okay? Um, that's the tricky part, is getting the x1 and y1 correct. Our description will be this. The graph passes through the point 2 and negative 1, and it has a slope of 3 halves. So that's the answer to A when they asked us to describe what the graph would look like. And now we're just going to go down to B, which actually asks us to do the graph. So um, in order to draw this graph, we're going to need to start with the known point and then use the slope to find a second point. So our known point is 2 and negative 1. So we're going to put that point, mark that point on the graph here. So 2 and negative 1 is this point right here. And then we're going to use our slope equal to 3 halves to find a second point on that line. So from 2, negative 1, we're going to go up 3 points. Oh, pardon me, we're going to go up 3. And then we're going to go over 2. Mark another point and then change my pen color here. That is a line that has a slope of 3 halves and it, um, and it passes through the point 2 and negative 1. The last step is we would just go and uh, label that line with its equation. So we're going to say this line is y plus 1 is equal to 3 halves x minus 2. Okay, um, so to finish off the note here, um, from 2, negative 1, go up 3 units, and to the right 2 units, mark a point, and draw a line through the two points. There's a practice example for you here, so pause the video 